So we're here at Woodfield and um, just outside Clonakilty and I'm talking to Sam Kingston, the director of the Young Fella documentary. Um, Sam is going to give us a little bit of background on the making of the Young Fella and um, tell us a little bit more about it. Um, so Sam, if you could tell me, where did you get the idea for the documentary, The Young Fella? Yeah, like it's, it's an idea that's been in my mind for a long time, really, like even since the film, like the, 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 like the Michael Collins film, like it's, it's been something that I wanted to do since then even, like, you know, because like, it's, it's like like the, like his early years are, are, are like a very important part of his life, you know. And like that that film starts in 1916, so there's like 26 years of his life that are, are, are totally just not there, like you know. So I was like going uh, even since then I was like thinking to myself, going, we should do something about this, like you know. So like it really starts back then, but like I suppose uh, like this project itself kind of started back in like myself and Sean, the like the the guy I made it with, like uh, we actually started this back in 2016 is when we started it. And so we were approached with a few different people and then we came to the house and the house were like, yeah, let's do this, you know. And, uh, and then we talked, to Cork, like, the, the, we talked to the county council and the county council were, came on board then. And then we talked to the school. And so the, the way we came at it, it was a different approach. Like we wanted to kind of engage young people in the film or like in, in, the, in history as well, I guess. Like, you know, so like, uh, like to me, it's important that, that the people actually engage in history. It's like instead of not just um, reading about it in books and actually like the, the, there's other ways of learning about history, like you know. Yeah. So, so tell me exactly, just I suppose to give people who are watching a little bit of um, background, or not a bit of background, but I suppose a general idea of what the young fella, the documentary. Is. Yeah, yeah. So like what we've done is like we talked to the school. So it's a group of transition year students are actually going to take like a, a journey, like like it's going to follow in the footsteps of Michael Collins as a young person. So. The, the idea really is like a, a 16 year old of today finding out about a 16 year old uh, like 100 years ago or over 100 years ago at this stage now like you know so so that's kind of the, the key kind of uh, for part of the story so, but like the, the the students are they came out here to woodfield they're out in the like oh, back in town in the museum and they're, they're seeing the sights and sounds of michael collins as youth and of course like the, the, the kind of uh, idea that we want to get across as well that michael collins ha had to do an exam when he was 16 and like the, these guys would have done like like, like, like an exam at, uh, uh, at 15 or whatever and then so it's just to get the idea of like the, what life was like for, for, for a 16 year old Michael Collins like and how do you think the, the young people who were involved in it found the, the whole experience ah yeah yeah like in fairness the students bought into it pretty well in fairness like you know like they, they were asking questions they were engaged with, with the documentary like with the, with the exam they were happy to, do, to actually do the exam so like no the, they're all very good in front like the six guys we got were, 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 were all very engaged in the documentary like so so yeah they're great in fairness to them. I, I suppose that the, the final question really is are, are you happy with the, the final product? Oh, of course yeah no I, I'm first like I, I, as I said I'm working with Sean Farr for, from a, a, a ambiguous fiddle and Sean's done a great job on the documentary like so so like like it's 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 a lot of Sean's work has gone into this as well like you know and uh, no I'm very happy with the idea like like uh, like all the all the contributors we had were, were excellent as well. Like you know, so like uh, yeah, like uh, I'm just looking forward to getting out there now, and so people can learn the story of uh, of his youth. Yeah, but I, I suppose unfortunately, I suppose with COVID, it, it, I suppose it's not the premiere of the, the documentary that we wanted. But um, I suppose how excited are you to kind of see what people's reaction? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like as I was saying, like like it's not what we were hoping to do with the documentary. Like, but like I think YouTube is actually like a great like like a, like a great way to get out there. Like it's it's actually going to be wider than originally that we had planned it. Like you know, like like with YouTube, it's, it can reach for anybody in the world now. So so that, that is pretty exciting that like people in Australia could be able to watch it, people in the states could watch it, people in Japan could watch it. Like you know. So like it's it, it, it can be watched all over the world now. So that's uh, it, that's pretty exciting, all right. Yeah. Um, so that's perfect, Sam. Thank you very much for meeting with me here today, anyway, and talking a little bit about young fellas. So I, I'm very excited myself. To, <laughs> I can't wait until Friday. So the documentary itself will be released on Friday, the 16th of April, at 8 p.m. on the Michael Collins House YouTube channel.